previously on The Real Geezers. I was watching the animal show, and, and then the rhino. Oh, the one with the rhino's taking the huge shit. Hilarious. <laughs> oh, Julie. How's it going? Good crowd? All right, you showed up. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. Good to see you. Think she'll show up tonight? Mm. Julie! <laughs> After that last date, geez, she's out of my life faster than... Your career? <laughs> well, I, not that fast. Yeah. Anyway, I don't have to watch what I say. Yeah. That's kind of cool. I got this, I got this new line I want to try out, oh, so... This one here? No, no, no. That's all. I haven't done that in years. <laughs> no, never got a laugh anyway. <laughs> well, then do it. <laughs> yeah. Well, you guys are a fantastic crowd. You have an amazing show ahead of you. Uh, one of the thrills when I, I get to work here is sometimes I get to work with uh, some of my comedic heroes, including this next guy. I used to watch him on the Johnny Carson show. Please welcome Kelly Monteith. How about it for him? <laughs> Brian Carley, nice round of applause for Brian. I grew this to look hip. Instead, I look homeless. As I'm fast approaching that age now, where the word hip is usually followed by the word replacement. Part of that baby boomer generation getting older. Can't wait to get their hands on that social security money. It's finally, finally they can pay off those student loans. Jeez. <laughs> 40 years. <laughs> I don't know. Trying to stay young. They tell you you got to eat right when you get older, so I am, you know. Eat brands. I'm eating brand, brand muffins, brand bread, brand cereal, everything brand. I actually think shit or brick was just an expression. <laughs> well, I'm not married anymore. My, my marriage in and what they call irreconcilable differences. Uh, attempted murder. Uh. Hey, what happened? Some chick came out and threw up all over the sidewalk. All over the sidewalk. Oh man. Yeah. All right. All right. You have a good one. All right. Well, she too. didn't good throw night, up thanks. inside, huh? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so how'd the line go? Eh, I don't know. I don't know if it's uh, really me. You know, nope. my age and all. Well, at least you're admitting you're old. Well, I guess the tattoos are out of the question now. Yep, huh? no tattoos. Uh, right. You know, but I'm thinking about getting a mohawk. Ah, geezer with a mohawk. You yeah. know you need hair for that. You do? Yeah. I never thought of that. You know, it used to be after work I'd hang out till, oh, God knows when. Now it's just home and television. Let's see what's on. Oh, <laughs> a horror film. I never, I never got into horror. You know, I, it never scared me. Vampires, monsters, zombies, it never scared me. I always found real life to be scary enough. You know, it's those little everyday fears that sneak up on you. Those are the ones that scared the shit out of you. In the deep, dead, inky black of night, it stalks your neighborhood. Then suddenly, out of nowhere, when it's least expected, it strikes without warning. Premature ejaculation. Coming too soon to a theater near you. God, not again. Hello. Oh. Yeah, sure, yeah, no. No, great. Yeah, no, just, no, email the info, okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm up, I'm, oh, I'm fine. <sighs> okay, hey, thanks, man, thanks. All right, bye. Holy shit.
believe it or not, I got a job. And I wasn't even paying attention. Maybe that's a secret. Well, this will be my home for the next three weeks. Actually, it's been my home for most of my life. You know, I told my kids when I die, I'm gonna leave them my estate. <laughs> well, little do they know that this is it. You know, years ago when I used to pack for the road, I'd make sure I had some cool music, some hip clothes, and some condoms. Now it's vitamin D, pain relief, and Rogaine. Such is the progression of life. You know, I've never been able to master the art of traveling light. Not like those movies where you see people traveling with nothing but a small carry-on, and every time you see them, they're in different clothes. How does that work? You know, like last time I was, oh, you're okay. Yeah, fine, why? I got a text, I thought you needed me, I thought you were stuck in your skinny jeans again. Yeah, I, we didn't have any of that KOI stuff, but I got some surf wax. Oh. <laughs> I appreciate that, thank you, but no, I, I, I just needed you to take me to the airport, that's all. I would, but I'm in the middle of mixing a song, I got a deadline. What is it about parents? It's, they, always, they always call it the worst time. You know, it's my fault, I should have checked with you before. Um, it's no problem. I'll, I'll grab an Uber, a Lyft. Hey, you know, me and my buddy are going surfing at El Porto. It's right by the airport. You want to get a ride? Oh, God, that'd be great. Thanks, man. Thanks. Let's do it. Let me get, okay. get this for you. Hey, uh, be careful with that. That's your inheritance. Yeah. Hey, uh, <laughs> you don't mind sitting in the back, do you? Oh, God, no, man. Makes me feel like an A-lister. Rock and roll. <laughs> Here we go. Hit it, buddy. Rock and roll. Cowbunga! Hey guys, got my text, huh? Okay. Hey, uh, let me unpack and freshen up, okay? Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. <laughs> you probably think I'm nuts, right? Well, I sing happy birthday when I wash my hands because um, supposedly that's about the maximum amount of time it takes to kill germs. And uh, I wash my hands a lot, especially when I'm on the road. Because you know something, if there's one thing worse than getting sick on the road, that's coming home sick. Ah, good to be home. Hey, I'm not complaining, mind you. I'm glad I got the work. Now I can pay my rent and my taxes. It's really weird how this job came up out of nowhere. There I was focusing on trying to get work and instead of focusing on my personal life, and when I started focusing on my personal life, then boom, this job came up out of nowhere. Weird, really weird how that works. Oh, you know, it's so hard to balance your personal life and your work life, you know. But you know, now that work's done, I can concentrate on my personal life. Who knows, maybe I'll meet somebody. I mean, you never know. Yeah, you gotta think positive. I don't know about one and only, but yeah, I, I'm Kelly Monty. I have something for you. You have something for me? I do. You've been served. Have a nice evening. Subpoena? What the fuck? For sexual harassment? God, Jesus. Fuck! 
Kelly thought fate was finally smiling upon him, but instead he got a swift kick in the ghoulies, which has left him ranting and raving at a universe that could give a rat's ass. But what could that subpoena possibly be about, and who the fuck issued it? Find out in the next series of The Real Geezers of Beverly Hills, Adjacent.